Kelowna is known for their active lifestyle, but as BC celebrates Bike to Work Week, the number of cyclists and pedestrians have gone down lately. The city believes it may have to do with the temperature. Um, we have per capita one of the highest um, uh, bike mode shares, so, so people taking these trips uh, of, of any city in Canada, not just the size wise, but uh, as a percentage. This is pretty typical for this time of year. Uh, there's still many people that are getting out um, and from a percentage perspective, uh, it's it's nowhere near you know zero percent of what we see there. We we really we really get um, cyclists every single day of the year on these counters, um, and and there's quite a few of them. Uh, and and we have some some days where it snows a whole bunch, but people are still getting out there. The addition of bike lanes can often lead to the removal of parking spots and can cause dangerous road conditions for both the motorist and cyclists. For the Ellis project, we're looking at. Uh, already the, the repaving was going to happen. Uh, what we've done is essentially just added a little bit of uh, asphalt on each side um, and, uh, and striped bike lanes. Uh, they're still parking on either side of the street. Uh, this is just a, a standard operating practice for how we can expand the network uh, in, a, in a kind of low cost to the taxpayer way. We want to build out that network so more people can feel safe getting around what, however they choose to move. Uh, and if they're choosing to move in a way that's more efficient, from a space perspective, from a, a greenhouse gas perspective, um, uh, from, from a kind of uh, like community cohesion perspective, those are really, really important things for us to encourage. The construction on the north end of Ellis Street will wrap up at the beginning of next week. Sarita Patel, Casanet News, Kelowna.